Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Melissa. I am a stay-at-home mom to two little boys. So, nap time is like a really crucial time of my day to actually get stuff done. If I don't have nap time, it's a whole thing. So, it's nap time now. I'm going to do a nap time power hour and then get as much done in an hour as I possibly can. I'm so excited because this video is a collaboration with my YouTube bestie, Monica. She is a mommy to three little girls. She loves all things homemaking, works full time, and organizing is her jam. She makes cooking, cleaning, and mommy videos, and I think you guys will absolutely love her as much as I do. So when you're done watching this, please go check out her video. I will link it in the description box below. So, it is 1.32 right now. And I'm gonna set the clock for an hour. I'm gonna speed clean and let's see if I can get it all done. Let's get going. Okay, so first things first is I have to clean up all of the mess. So I started by getting some of the stuff off of the sink and then I kind of got distracted and started cleaning the toilet. Does anybody else, like, does that happen to anybody else? I don't know. I noticed that the toilet needed to be cleaned and so I had to stop cleaning the sink and move on to the toilet. But what I'm using is the Method um, Toilet Bowl Cleaner and then some Fabuloso, which is a disinfectant. It's actually a UK product, so it's not available in the US, but you can buy it online and have it shipped here um, and I'm making sure I'm getting all like back and underneath the toilet because I feel like I always forget that or like that's not part of my just like daily cleaning even though it should be like I, it's more of like a um, deep clean when that gets done so I'm just also spraying when you're done with your toilet bowl wand make sure that you prop it like I did in the lid and spray it with disinfectant so it doesn't get all icky and gross in the holder because uh, that, that's nasty. Also, guys, it's been longer than I care to admit since this bathroom has been deep cleaned. I deep cleaned the um, bathtub uh, like a, a couple days ago, but like the rest of the bathroom, I think it's been since I had my baby, so about two months because I just have not been in the mode of deep cleaning the bathroom. I've just been like surface cleaning and it just really needed good like dusting, things had collected. Um, so yeah, here I am dusting and again, then going back over with Fabuloso. Um, and then uh, restocking toilet paper because I don't know about you guys, I feel like we go through toilet paper so fast now. Is it because we're home for quarantine? I don't know. been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going no control you push me then you pull me back in don't know if I can decipher how your mind works yeah you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin just make sure if you're doing a deep clean of your bathroom to wipe off every single product that's on your sink because trust me there's dust there even if you can't see it like dust just accumulates like crazy on stuff that is just sitting on a sink so make sure you do that here's my wipe down of the mirror I, I got mascara on the mirror somehow like I guess I just got too close to the mirror do you guys ever get like super close to trying to see what you're doing and then you accidentally hit the mirror with your makeup and then there's makeup on your mirror also I don't know about you guys, but are men just like, do men put toothpaste all over the place? I feel like they just spit directly onto the mirror. It's so gross. Okay, and here is my gross real life moment for you. So I took some Fabulosa and I put it into the um, like hot water in the sink. And lately our sink has been draining super slowly. Oh, I got some diapers that I needed to put in pails. Ew! Look at that! That was around the drain cap. So then I wiped it a couple more times and then I decided to get some q-tips and like really get into the drain. I know I should just take this out and like do a super good deep clean but I also knew that my kid was going to wake up like 
very soon and I needed to just get done what I could. I don't know if you can see on that Q-tip. Oh my god. Gross. I think it was like five Q-tips worth of junk that I pulled out of there. That is so disgusting. It like made me want to vomit. I was like, uh, has anyone else cleaned that out lately? I saw Brie from Bits of Brie actually pull the whole thing out and how disgusting it was and so then I was like I really need to clean that especially like since it's taking forever to drain oh, oh my gosh so nasty okay tell me the nasty place in your home that you realized recently is disgusting put it in the comments down below I want to hear your dirty little secrets tell me what is disgusting that you've recently cleaned in your house I want to go all in so give me a sign That was more like 20 Q-tips, not five, but anyway, uh, then I just sprayed the drain down with some fabulous that just sit for a couple of hours, and I went ahead and started putting everything back where it belongs. Only here was best for me, in the echo of your silence, I'm thinking more of her, she We got to about 2.15. I only got about 45 minutes of power hour time instead of 60 minutes, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You get it done within the amount of time that you got it done. So I got the whole master bath um, <laughs> deep cleaned other than the bathtub, but I just recently deep cleaned that. So I'm not super worried about that. Uh, I will go ahead and do like a quick clean when I'm in the shower today. So. I hope that this motivated you guys to get some stuff done while your kids are napping or in their quiet time. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.